Tonight we are dining at Mario's here at Sandals Antigua. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. So like I said, tonight we are dining at Mario's. This is actually an Italian restaurant here at the Sandals Resort. Uh, we are super excited. We actually have not got to try any of the Italian restaurants at the Sandals Resorts that we've been to, so this is pretty exciting tonight. And to start off, we have got the house special, which every night here at Mario's is the lemon teeny. I honestly don't know what's in it, but it's lemony and it doesn't taste like there's alcohol in it, so that's definitely dangerous. <laughs> so here at Mario's, uh, it's pretty big in here. Uh, really, really high ceiling, so it's a little bit loud. The noise is kind of bouncing and echoing. So, uh, but still pretty nice. Uh, good Italian style food so far. So for an appetizer today, I decided to go with Frito Miso. I love some Frito Miso. You can't go wrong with Frito Miso. This is assorted seafood zucchini coated with seasoned flour, golden fried, and served with a marinara sauce. Um, pretty good. It was basically, I think, two pieces of shrimp, uh, a piece of fish, and then potentially calamari. Um, and uh, it was really good. Nice light uh, coat on the breading. Uh, a smaller portion size than what I was expecting just from like our previous restaurants that we've been to so far um, while we've been here. But again, uh, everything's all inclusive. So if you want two orders of the Frio Miso, you could certainly ask for that. I didn't, but I'm almost thinking about doing it again. Um, a couple other things like on the menu that I just want to briefly talk about that I was interested in, you might be interested in, is that they've got an arancini, uh, which is parmesan crusted golden fried rice balls with a spicy tomato sauce. I almost got that instead, but I did. And Taylor got an appetizer, and then we had another one to share, but I'll let her talk about it. For my appetizer tonight, I got the Caesar salad. This is crispy romaine lettuce, traditional Caesar dressing, garlic croutons, and parmesan cheese. Uh, this was a really good Caesar salad. I did enjoy the dressing and I thought that there was plenty of dressing on there. I feel like that's something that um, restaurants struggle with sometimes is not putting enough dressing on there, but it was fully coating basically every piece of lettuce in there. Um, not too much, just enough. And then I liked the crouton that was on top. It was actually served almost as like a breadstick and then I kind of like broke it up and ate it in there. Um, but it was nice and crispy, not too crunchy though. Um, and then there was a nice amount of Parmesan cheese in there as well. So good overall Caesar salad to start. And then to share, we got the antipasta. Uh, this came with Italian salami, prosciutto, Roman style artichokes, roasted peppers, marinated zucchini and eggplant, cambazzola cheese, and grilled ciabatta. Basically what we did with this antipasta was jauche the cheese and the vegetables and <laughs> the meats on there. That's kind of what we do when we get antipasta. Sometimes I'll eat like the artichokes and the peppers, um, but tonight I was just feeling the prosciutto and the salami, and it was really good. There was a balsamic drizzled over the top, which was also really good. Um, great way to start the meal, I think. Um, kind of went a little bit lighter this evening, but I'm excited for the entrees. For my entree tonight, I got the uh, Chef Risotto. This is uh, changes daily, and uh, tonight it was a shrimp with a tomato base risotto so to speak uh it was pretty good uh it had that you know the right consistency and texture for a risotto uh the shrimp were nice and tender they weren't overdone um, but i think it was still missing a little bit of flavor in there uh it was not as maybe bold as i would have liked it to be so it was good but um if I had to do it again, or if I wanted to order another entree, I would have definitely gone with Taylor's gnocchi. That was fantastic. So now we are waiting on our dessert. For my entree tonight, I had the gnocchi. This was served with a four cheese sauce and basil. Oh, it was so yummy. Gnocchi is like a potato pasta, and sometimes it can be really dense and heavy and, you know, just not taste very good. However, tonight was not the case. It was cooked exactly how it should be. It was nice and light and airy, and I loved the cream sauce. Mm. It was a small portion, and I will say, if I would have known it was gonna be kind of small when we ordered it, we may have actually done like pasta as like a extra appetizer, basically, and then ordered another entree, or maybe done like two pastas or something. Um, but, Besides the size of it, it was 
Fantastic. For dessert tonight, Josh and I both got the chocolate lava cake. And this is as you would expect. It is a molten chocolate lava cake. Whenever you cut into it, the chocolate on the inside just kind of runs out. Um, it is served with like an almond ice cream. Um, I don't particularly like almond in my dessert or drinks. Um, so I actually just didn't eat it, but Josh loves almonds, so he did eat it. You can also get for dessert here tiramisu, panna cotta, and they all do also have some gelato as well. Um, but overall, it was a pretty good meal. I'm finishing off with a glass of champagne. So we just finished eating inside at Mario's, the Italian restaurant here mm -hmm. at Sandals Grand Antigua, uh, which was really great. It was. It was really good. I'm like going to dream about that gnocchi tonight. It was so good. I loved that. And I'm not, you guys know that I'm not usually a fan of uh, desserts, but the chocolate molten lava cake, whatever you want to call it, was uh, pretty good. It was very good as the well. The ice cream was a little <laughs> bit different though, too. Uh, it almost yeah. tasted like it had like a almond, almond flavoring in there, mm -hmm. which uh, I actually enjoyed. So I thought that was good. Yeah. But uh, again, whenever you guys come here and you guys are eating at any of these restaurants, Always remember that because it's all inclusive, if you mm -hmm. want something else or if you want something, two of something, you can always ask for that. It's not mm -hmm. an additional charge. Yep. Um, you know, I mean, you're here. Splurge a little bit and enjoy yourself. Yeah. And all the cocktails and drinks are included as well. Yes. So, oh, you know. but that is one thing to add. Oh, yeah. Here at uh, Mario's, because it's Italian and so they're trying to go with that more of Italian vibe, mm -hmm. they do have a select list of wines mm -hmm. that are an additional charge. Mm -hmm. um, so they're not included. But you can get like bottles and glasses of right. all these extra specialty wines. Yeah. Now they still have regular wines mm -hmm. um, that, that are included, included including champagne and cocktails, but yep. just something to think about. So it's good. And uh, normally, again, we would ask you if you've ever <laughs> been here before, but of course we know that maybe you haven't. So mm -hmm. uh, let us know. Are you guys planning to come to Santos Antigua maybe sometime in the future? It's a great place. 